Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Gemini. Gemini, please keep in mind that this is your general monthly reading for the month of February 2022. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And you know very well that in case you wanted to connect with me for the private personal reading, you can connect with me on the email ID mentioned below and I'll take you from there. As always, I really request you that if you like what I do, please do like, subscribe the channel and I'll take you from there whenever you're connecting with me or otherwise. Keep on your notifications because I always keep on uploading the readings. So please do like and subscribe the channel. Oh my goodness, Gemini. <laughs> This card got struck and I thought and opted to pull it out. It is sun for you, Gemini, in the month of February. That's your energy. And you have angel of love. That's a lovely one. And let me also see what angel answers do we have for you in the month of February, Gemini 2022. Gemini 2022. What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? We have forgiveness. And we have remain positive, Gemini. That's lovely one. And let me also see what crystal is important for you in the month of February 2022. What crystal is important for you, Gemini? And it is... Turquoise, that's a lovely, nice tone. Look at the color of this turquoise. Okay, now if I see your reading, your energies are super powerful because I was shuffling your cards and I was getting, I was getting great vibrations from the deck today for you, Gemini, and this came out. Look at, it is number one, it is the sun. The kind of growth, clarity, movement. You're going to get very, very fast, fruitful movement this month, dear, dear Gemini. And this is going to be in your personal and professional life both. Things will start rolling on completely on a very fast track mode. And things which were stagnant will take a great, great action from now. And you also have angel of love in the, in the energy oracle this month. And it is telling you that you need to maintain your calmness, love for yourself and love for others, even love for the situation. It tells that everything in the month of February will be resolved nicely if you will handle the situation in a very loving and an affection way it is time to pour love into every situation into every relationship into every opportunity into every kind of uh, you know communication you do in your personal professional life this is loving pouring you pouring loving love into everything and even this is also talking about the self-love so love is in the air for you this month and it also holds the energy of sun very powerful energy and if i see your angel message i see that more than forgiving others it is forgiveness for self you seek forgiveness for something maybe there is a guilt of leaving somebody in between maybe you were not justified that time maybe your priorities were different that time Maybe you didn't give complete attention to a relationship, maybe to a job role, to a deal or something or to a money area. This is not forgiving others. This is forgiving situation. And what I'm sensing from this card is that this is forgiving self. The angels want you to forgive yourself for the kind of wisdom or maturity. Maybe you did not uh, showcase during that time, but they want you to forgive and move forward. And just remain positive you already have a card of sun in the reading so it is definitely suggested and it is very clear time and again in your reading both the cards are so much resonating with each other 
that though you have a clarity of sun, but it is important for you to remain positive for each and every wish and desire you have from this year 2022 and you have from the month of February. And the stone which is going to be lucky for you this month, which is recommended, you can take a crystal, maybe a bracelet, maybe a necklace, but a small piece of turquoise is highly recommended because I'm getting very nice energies for you, dear Gemini, from this. And it says spiritual path, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Now, this card is even resonating with sun and remain positive. It is telling you that things are getting clear to you, more clear. When sun comes, the, the illusion goes away. The, 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 you know, the mind, double mind, when you're not able to take a decision, when you are in a dilemma that goes away, and it says that, yes, it is important for you to make the necessary changes. So when you will have this clarity, you will definitely be able to make a very clear life decision. And the, the stone, the crystal turquoise is going to play a very, very important role. You can have healing energies from this crystal. You can even buy a very small piece of that crystal. Now I'm changing the format little. I will be pulling out all your weeklies and the clarifying cards together. And then sh I shall be explaining them. So let me pull out your weeklies. What do we need to know? What do we need to know in your weeklies? What do we need to know in your weeklies for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising? What do we need to know for you? Gemini. Week 1, you have 7 of Raphael. Week 2... You have five of Gabriel. Week three, you have queen of Raphael. So this month, your angel is Raphael for sure. Archangel Raphael is your angel. And then you have queen of Ariel. That is your week four. Okay. Let me now see what do we have in clarification with these weeks. Okay. So in week one, what do we need to know more from tarot? Let me pull out the cards for week one. Let me pull out the cards for week one. So week one, you have the strength. Week two, you have two of wands. I'm sorry, this is for week one only. Week one, you have Knight of Pentacles. And this was another card which was coming out. It is Ace of Swords. Okay. So this is for your week one. Week two, you have Page of Pentacles. My son is talking in between. Please excuse him. He always keep on talking in between. This is Knight of Cups in week two. And then we have three of cups in week two. What a wonderful week. Very powerful. You have celebrations coming in. In week three, you have queen of wands. You have a major arcana card, temperance. You have four of pentacles in week three. And week four, you have Queen of Cups. You have Eight of Swords. And you have Six of Pentacles. Little tough week, I should say. So in week one, you have Seven of Raphael. And it says, time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take decision a need to detoxification. This means you have to be very, very clear in your priorities, dear Gemini. You have to see what you really want to have in life. Set priorities. You know, wishing for 10 things is not going to solve your purpose. The card says that you need to prioritize that what you really want. You know, putting your hands on multiple things is not going to help and resolve the current situation. It says it's time to take a decision. 
that what you really want or what you really desire in your life. You have to prioritize it as per your requirement and need. In week one, you also have a major arcana card that is strength. There is an issue on which you need to maintain your patience and courage. You need to pass on week one because it seems to be a little, little difficult on the communication end because you also have ace of sword. Now, ace of sword is definitely a new opportunity, maybe a new beginning of something. And ace of swords also means that the, you are welcoming some communication challenges or disagreements or arguments in week one. So it is important that you maintain your calm, you maintain your peace and things are going to take a nice shape. And it also says that week one has ace of sword and it has two of wands. This means there are not just one, there are multiple opportunities coming to you in the month of February. The decision you have to make that which opportunity is sounding nice to you. Both the opportunities are going to be good opportunities, money-making opportunities, career-oriented opportunities. But you have to see that which opportunity is best for you. And week one is also going to bring nice stability in your money, career and finances. So week one overall on the communication front, is it is little low. But if you see the overall situation, the money, career and finances, it is quite stable and there will be good moments in week one. Week two of February for you, Gemini, has five of Gabriel. Now five is again a number of conflict, is a number of arguments, disagreements. So you have to continue being taking precautions on your communication, how you talk, what kind of tone you are using. Ensure that you are not pulling out things so that it does not take a different shape. It says a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. Yes, you have to keep on the patience in, even in week two, but it is definitely the opportunity which has come to you in the week one. It is, uh, it is definitely a page of pentacle opportunity, which means it is going to be a great money making opportunity for you. And with this, you have queen or knight of cups which says that definitely there will be a lot of movement in week two. Expect great movement because you also have a card of celebration, which is three of cups. So the ball is going to come into your coat. Things will fall into your favor as per your choice. And it is going to be a wish fulfillment. I can see marriage fixing up for a lot of you, formal commitments, engagement. I also see that your partner is going to propose you. That's a good sign. I'm getting that vibration and you are also going to celebrate a victory of your choice. You're going to welcome a job of your choice, maybe something you have got from reference and now you are really in a mood to celebrate. So your week two is actually very, very powerful. And if I see your week three, you have Queen of Raphael again. It says, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information so when you have queen on place it tells you to hold on the place with love care and affection but i see in this card dear gemini that you are going to be very very focused towards your life in week two for sure and if i see your other cards apart from queen of raphael look at this your queen of wand a very career oriented woman aries leo sagittarius impact on your life in week three you have great passion, great energy to make something really big at your professional front in your career. And you really want to bring people together with your work. But I'm sensing that whether male or a female, you're going to really bounce back in your work. You're really going to put your foot forward and you are really going to prove the world that yes, I have those skills and competencies which I know that I'll be able to conquer the world with. And you have two queens here. Look at this. So your feminine energy power is going to conquer everything. And I see for people who, uh, I mean male, they are going to definitely have an impact of a very powerful woman in your sign. I really claim this because I'm getting a vibration that, you know, all Gemini who are from sun, moon and rising you know, a Gemini sign, they're going to have an impact of a strong working woman in their life. And you also have a major arcana card here, which is from temperance. Now temperance is a major arcana card and it is a sign 
that you have to be very very cautious take one step at a time and it says that you know you have to be very careful if you're starting off with something new take one step at a time and once you have analyzed the step number one then only take step number two and you have four of pentacles in the reading in week three now four of pentacles says that whatever you have in your hand just hold it tightly do not lose it just like that if you want to leave any relationship any job any business deal any proposal it's not the right time to leave it you have to hold it back in your hand and maybe the decision of leaving changing you can really postpone that decision for a few days or a month's time but leaving is not uh, recommended when you have four of pentacle it's time to hold on and keep the crab on something which you already have in your hands for that matter it's relationships as well and then you have so you have queen of ariel now look at this you have so many queens today you have queen of Raphael. you have queen of wands you have queen of ariel so you have three queens in your reading definitely whether you are a male or a female, but you are going to have an impact of a very strong, financially independent, successful woman impact on your life this month for sure. And the Queen of Aries, Ariel says, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, wise advice. So I'm telling you, you are going to witness the presence of a very, very strong logical rational uh, female in your life the lady full of uh, you know uh, stability financial stability wisdom hard work passion energy and it is going to be a very powerful positive impact on you gemini oh my goodness you have queen of cups so now you have four queens in your reading the queen of cups also brings in the care affection you need to nurture a relationship or maybe a situation now I, I i can claim this you have four queens it's time that you are going to have everything very very nice in the month of february gemini and if i see your last two cards look at this you have eight of swords and you have six of pentacles which means if i see eight of swords there is a situation gemini you feel you are struck there is no solution but with four queens in presence i see that the help is all around you the help is completely around you it is just that you have to call for that help and things will fall into your place and then you have six of pentacle i think you owe some karmic financial balance with somebody gemini please remember if you owe money to somebody you must give it back and if someone owes the money keep on giving the reminders because card of six of pentacles says that it's time to share and it's time to balance your karmic finances give and take it's time for you to you know close those karmic finance accounts so that nothing is pending on your account for that matter lovely reading and let us see what do we have with fairy messages for you gemini in the month of february 2022 what do we have february 2022 gemini what do we have for you what do we have for you gemini 2022 what do we have for you i'm waiting for a fallout here okay we have whom do you need to forgive isn't it the same if i remember correctly look at this whom do you need to forgive as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true it's time for you to please keep on forgiving people and yourself for that matter and then you have be yourself the situation calls for you to be your authentic self which is the basis of your personal power that's amazing and this is going to be a last card it says express your individuality allow your true self to shine because you are awesome bring what you feel what you think on the table in the relationship it's time for you 
to bring yourself into priority, to bring you into priority and give importance to self-care. Dear all, that was your detailed, beautiful reading for Gemini and it's going to be a very, very strong month for you because you have four queens in your reading. Do let me know that how you're resonating with the reading and I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.